Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to start off today by telling you guys that you're gonna have to excuse the hair today because I literally filmed this look earlier and I stopped after I was done filming the look before I did my intro to go finish watching my Indianapolis Colts play football. During that time, I also ate dinner and totally spaced out the fact that I needed to come back and record my intro and I put my hair up in a ponytail and then I was like, what am I doing? I'm not even done filming. So I hurried up and I took the hair tie out and my hair is just like not even looking cute anymore. It's going to look a lot more fluffy and curly in the actual tutorial than it does now because I totally forgot that I needed to film. So anyways, while we're on the topic of my hair, has anybody noticed yet that I got it cut? I actually got a lot taken off. I would say I got five to six inches cut off my hair and I'm loving it. I can get a lot more volume with it. Not right now because I screwed up my hair. Today's the first time I curled it and so I'm going to try some other techniques when I curl it next time just to find what works for this length. I don't really like the way that it curled today but anyways that's beside the point. Um, let's talk about the tutorial because that's why we're all here. So this look that I created today was inspired by Jennifer Lopez. If you guys watch American Idol, then you probably noticed that she was absolutely beaming, just glowing. Her skin was just so hydrated looking and youthful looking and just healthy and glowing. So the eye look that Jennifer paired with her super dewy skin was just a really basic nude dewy eye. Literally, this eye is so basic, anybody can do it. It takes minimal skill, minimal product. If you have a nude metallic color that you can throw on your lid and a good blending color for the crease and a nice highlight shade, which are three really basic eyeshadows, then you can create this look. So if you guys like this look, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I am Brittany Makeup One at all of those places. I will link down below all three of those pages so you can go follow me and I will also link all the products that I used in this video down below so that all of you can get that amazing JLo glow that everybody wants. Thank you guys for all of your support. I really appreciate it and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. One more thing before I go. Um, if you're an Indianapolis Colts fan or you just don't like the Patriots, then give me a thumbs up right below this video if you are cheering the Indianapolis Colts on over the New England Patriots next week in the AFC Championship for the chance to go to the Super Bowl. Because if the Colts win next weekend, wherever you are right now, you will probably hear me screaming because I don't even know what I'll do. But I know that it's gonna be crazy and it's going to involve loud screaming. Okay, but for real now this time, let's get on to the tutorial. I've already moisturized my face, so I'm gonna start off with Smashbox's Photo Finish Targeted Pore and Line Primer. This primer is not meant to go all over the face. It's only meant for those areas on your face where you may have pores or any fine lines or wrinkles. I use it on the pores that I tend to get sometimes on both sides of my nose. They're not really noticeable, but I know they're there, so I like to cover them. And I just put this product on my ring finger and I dab it into my pores and kind of use a little buffing motion to buff it into my pores just until my pores disappear to the point where I want them to. They say if you use your ring finger that it actually helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles because it's the weakest finger on your hand. Next I'm going to mix together my Josie Maron Argon Illuminator and my Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation. This is in the shade 2.4. I'm mixing these together because Jennifer Lopez had that amazing dewy glow. And one way that you can achieve that look is by mixing your liquid foundation with a liquid illuminator. So that's what I did. I put about two pumps of the foundation on the back of my hand and then I mixed that with about a half of a pump of the illuminator. You can add more or less illuminator depending on how dewy you want your skin to look. But I did about half a pump and I'm applying it to my face using my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. 
I'm just using circular motions to buff this into my face. And you may notice when I get to the sides of my nose where my pores tend to get larger, I use a rough circular motion. And that just really helps blend out that foundation and just blend it into the pores so that they are less noticeable. I'm also applying it to my forehead and just make sure that when you are applying your foundation to your forehead that you really blend it into that hairline because you don't wanna have a harsh line around your face there looking like you're wearing a mask. Next to conceal underneath my eyes, I'm gonna use Max Mineralized Concealer in the shade NW25. This concealer is a little bit lighter than my skin and because Jennifer had that amazing dewiness to her skin, by using a concealer underneath your eyes that is one to two shades lighter than your skin, it's really gonna add to that dewiness and it's really gonna lift the eye area and just highlight that area and just really add to the dewiness. I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes and I'm going to use a fluffy concealer brush to buff that out in an upside down triangle shape and just really blending it into my foundation. To add even more dewiness and glow to our skin, I'm gonna go in with MAC's Prep and Prime Pen. This is in the shade Light Boost. I absolutely love this product, by the way. I'm going to apply that to the center of my forehead in a fan shape down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, chin, and my cheekbones. Then I'm just going to buff it out using that same Sigma flat top kabuki brush. I'm going to just buff it out in a feathering fan motion on my forehead, down the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow, the chin, and both cheekbones. I know that this product doesn't really show up well on camera, but I promise you this product is amazing and adds so much dewiness to the skin. After we've applied all that liquid dewiness to our face, we absolutely need to set it with a powder so that it doesn't move or break up on our face throughout the day. I'm using Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium Dark, and I'm just using a fluffy powder brush just to put that all over my face and set my foundation. After we've put so much liquid on our face, we absolutely need to set it. We don't want that foundation moving and breaking up throughout the day because it can get looking pretty scary. Next, I'm going to set that concealer underneath my eyes using Laura Mercier's Secret Brightening Powder. The lady at Sephora told me that this product is actually made for setting concealer underneath your eyes. It has little reflectors in it that catch the light, so by applying this underneath our eyes, we're adding even more dewiness to our skin. Next, I'm going to fill in my brows using Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate, which I don't even know why I bought this color because it's not my color. I bought it by accident, so my eyebrows are looking a little scary. And on top of that, my eyebrows are going through a situation right now, and I don't know what it is, but I've had them waxed, I've had them shaped, and I don't know what's going on with them. They are a scary disaster right now. So please excuse the brows, but... I'm just gonna fill them in and try to make them look the best that I can with what I've got going on. And I'm just gonna fill them in from the inner corner of my eye to the outer corner of my eye, just using little baby strokes and trying to turn a hot, disastrous eyebrow situation into something nice. Then just like we set our face, you want to set your eyebrows using a clear brow gel. And I'm just using this cheap one from Target. This is e.l.f. brand. This just kind of acts like a hairspray so that our eyebrows stay in place all day. Next, I'm gonna prime my eyes using Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And you always, always, always wanna start off by priming your eyes before you apply eyeshadow because a primer is just gonna help that eyeshadow stick to your eyes all day and it's gonna help it from creasing so that you get longer wear out of your eyeshadow. Then I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in Purely Naked, and I'm just gonna buff this into the crease using a fluffy crease brush from MAC. This is the number 286 brush. I'm just gonna buff that into my crease using windshield wiper motions all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner. I'm also gonna use some circular motions while I'm applying this into the crease just because I feel like that kind of blends out my eyeshadow a little more and just helps it blend into that brow bone and just allows for a better transition up into the brow bone and lid area. Next, I'm gonna go in with one of the new foiled eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. This is in the shade Grandstand. And I am just going to apply it 
all over my lid using a little itty bitty brush from Sephora. This is the number 18 Pro Shader Brush. If you don't have this brush, you need it. I decided to go with this eyeshadow because these Makeup Geek eyeshadows are absolutely amazing. The foiled eyeshadows are just so dewy on the eye that I just thought it was perfect for this Jennifer Lopez look. I'm just going to use that number 18 brush from Sephora to pack that color all over the lid and I'm kind of going a little higher than my lid and into the crease a little bit and I'm just kind of rounding out my eye with that brush just to give it some more shape. I'm going to take that same grandstand color and I'm going to use the Makeup Geek pencil brush just to put this underneath the lower lash line as well for more dewiness. This part of the tutorial I accidentally didn't record, but this is the shade Bling by Makeup Geek and I just used it to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. Then I just lined both of my eyes with this black liquid liner. I'm not sure what this liner is actually. Um, it's just some cheap liquid liner that I have. I don't tend to use liquid liners much, so this was the only one that I had, but I wanted to use it for this look because Jennifer had that really harsh definition to her eyes. So I thought that using a black liquid liner would be best for this look and achieving that harsh definition for our eyes. Then I just threw a couple coats of mascara on my top lashes and my bottom lashes, but I did not record myself applying the mascara to my bottom lashes. Next, I did a little contouring. This is Delphic by MAC. Jennifer Lopez always has a great contour. I contoured using Makeup Geek's blush brush actually. It's perfect for fitting into the hollows of your cheeks. And I just carve out my cheekbones using that and then I go around the top of my forehead just applying that bronzer where the sun would naturally hit my face. Then I went in and applied some falsies, which is my favorite part of makeup. Well, one of my favorite parts. It totally changes the way that your makeup looks. I'm applying Ardell's Wispy Lashes. I didn't want to go with anything too dramatic because Jennifer's eyelashes looked very natural. They were just long and wispy, so I figured that the Wispy Lashes would be perfect. Then just to make my false lashes look more natural, I'm going to go back over them where they are binded to my lid. I'm gonna go back over them with that same black liquid liner just so they look more natural. To continue achieving that J-Lo glow, I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Geek blush. This is in the shade Romance. This blush is shimmery, so it's gonna put even more dewiness and glow to our skin. I'm gonna use Makeup Geek's blush brush to stipple that onto my cheeks. Next, for even more dewiness, I'm gonna go in with my favorite highlighter of all time. This is Silver Dusk by MAC. Look at that swatch. How gorgeous is that? I'm going to apply this to the highest points of my cheekbones. Look, you can tell I'm totally in love with this highlighter. I'm using Sigma's Tapered Highlighting Brush, and this is the F35 brush. I'm just dusting that on the highest points of my cheekbones, and then for even more glow, I decided to put a little bit on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. And then to finish off the look, I went in with Angel Lipstick by MAC. And this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your support and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. The eyes still needed to film my intro, which is why my hair looked a hot mess. I don't like what I just said. <laughs> Speaking about my hair. <laughs> oh gosh. I can't believe the Colts are playing in the Super Bowl. I mean, they're not playing in the Super Bowl. <laughs> It doesn't take a lot of work. It doesn't even take a lot of skill. It's totally foolproof. Fool yeah, it might be foolproof, but clearly I'm not. Sometimes when I'm filming, I wonder if the neighbors next door can hear me because they're right on the other side of this wall right here. And sometimes I think I talk loud. They probably think I'm weird. I cannot believe I forgot I had to film.